the madman. I'm gonna click Book of Mercenaries, and then I'm going to click Cyrella. And then I'm going to click Choose. I am a priestess of the light of the Alright, alright. Getting somewhere. Wait, same thing? Oh, baited. Click, click, click. Oh, okay. Enter! Okay. It, it cannot, it cannot be done. Left card. The left card did something to my skeletal dragon. Enter. Enter. Let's try that again. Wait, echo. Twin spell can be cast twice. So I guess this would be the last time I can cast that. Wait, it swapped cards. What happened? So... Mode 1, Deathwing is on the top right. Mode 2, Deathwing isn't here. Mode 3, Deathwing is on the bottom left. Mode 4, Deathwing isn't here. Or is this Mode 2 again? So 1, Deathwing's there. 2, it's a Aranasi Broodmother. 3, Deathwing is here. 4, that's an Aranasi Broodmother. Okay. Let's try this one. Okay, the four in the middle stayed the same this time. Okay, I can see there's four toggles. So, Gyreworm, Melganus, Gyreworm, Melganus. Okay. This one shuffles the top. I don't see any new ones getting added. Okay, this one would presumably shuffle the bottom. Okay, cool. What's five do? Five changes the left six. This one presumably changes the right six. Okay. Alright, so we figured out how to manipulate the board. Now, the goal is to figure out what the puzzle is. This is ridiculous! You have no idea where to even start. But, okay, you, you do get a hint on where to start. So, all of these have a tribe. We got elementals, dragons, mechs, murlocs, and beasts, and demons. There are six tribes here. It's the same as the battlegrounds tribes. I think I should set it up so that I'm winning each of these fights in 1v1 combat. Frogs plus demons plus beasts plus mechs. But that's 12 things and there's only enough... Oh, there's 12 spots here. Wait, no, there's... That's 16 things and there's only 12 spots here. Wait, there's actually extra things in there. Maybe I should start off by writing what's on... What is possible to get. Alright, so we have a Cloud Prince, which is an elemental. Oh, I did not want to do that. Undo? No wait, I can undo by pressing, by doing the same thing again. 
I can undo by doing the same thing four times. Okay, so step one, I've identified there are four of each of the six tribes here, and I can move a bunch of these things around. I see the love symbols, so I would guess that these, the four people in a tribe like to be in a square. Okay, I guess I'll do that. <laughs> I've, I've almost like by chance gotten this set in a square. We got like three dragons here. I'm missing um, Deathwing. Okay, this is like a Rubik's Cube. By the way, I've never actually solved the Rubik's Cube before. So this is really bad news for me. I am terrible at spatial puzzles. I have a bad feeling about this puzzle. And then... I move this over there. We did it! We have a demon box! Good job, me! Okay, um... Pog. Okay, now what? <laughs> okay, you, you put them in boxes. But I, I, I've done that for the demons. Do I need to do them for every other one simultaneously? Including the ones that are off the board. And it doesn't matter what order I put the boxes in. There's 10 minions on the top, there's 10 minions on the bottom, and I need to split them up into a grid of four of each of the tribes. A box of four of each of the tribes. Oh, oh, I I got the number wrong. Wait. There's four, eight, 12, 16, 20, there's 24. Oh, okay. There's 12 on the top row and 12 on the bottom row, and I need to get six boxes between the six tribes. I just miscounted. No. Box, 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 box. I mean, I need six boxes. There's six tribes, six boxes. There's 12 minions on the top. There's 12 minions on the bottom. And I need to put them like in boxes like this. So the way I see it is there's also like four minions over here and there's four minions over here. From what I understand, I need to get these four minions to be the same type, these four minions to be the same type, these four, these four, and these four to be like in the same type. No. No, 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 no. Box, 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 yes. I get it. I, I understand, but I am so bad at spatial reasoning that I can't, like, finish the puzzle, I think. So, like, I, I know how you would think of it. So Rubik's Cubes has, like, six colors and six different faces. So basically you associate all the, uh, you associate the Murlocs as, like, blue or something, the mechs as green, and the dragons as yellow, and then you're trying to get all of the, uh, you're trying to match up the colors of the Rubik's Cube. You know, you're trying to get all the uh, tribes on one specific face of the Rubik's Cube. Now, what you're seeing here is you're seeing three of the faces of a Rubik's Cube. I guess you could like think of this as the left side of a Rubik's Cube and this is like the top side. Like you'd be staring at a die face and you can see three of the faces at the same time. So this one is easy enough. This is you spinning the Rubik's Cube. Right. This is you spinning the Rubik's Cube left. The, like that's the, this is the first part. This is the second part. It's a Rubik's Cube, but the way that it's pictured is so terrible. I don't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube, and I'm so bad at spatial reasoning. Ah! <laughs> I'm crying. So what I'm seeing at any time 
is basically this. So I'm seeing this right now is the way that I'm going to picture it. The Hearthstone board is showing me that. No. The Hearthstone board is showing me this. No. God, I'm so bad at spatial reasoning. There's no other combinations. How, how is that possibly wrong? Okay, wait, maybe, maybe I should like, yeah, maybe we should do this. The Hearthstone board is showing me this? Yes, 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 no. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, so we're just gonna color these cubes, okay? <laughs> Are we good? How can this possibly not be good? Oh, wait. Wait, I think I know why. Oh, it's because, it's because there's eight things over here. So that means I had to put them on the long side. I should flip. <laughs> okay, all right. We're, we're doing well here. Okay, very good. Three moves the top row two spaces to the right. So this elemental will go here. So two murlocs were discovered. That means that these two are murlocs. And then the bottom, the fourth card, moves the bottom row two spaces left. And those are two beasts. So therefore, these are two beasts. Later that same evening. It's one of those like, I get it, but I don't really want to do it. I understand what the puzzle is getting at. Is that enough to solve the puzzle? Or is this one of the ones that you want me to actually solve the puzzle? Like, I can tell you what, what it's doing. Like, you're spinning a face. One, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four. Oh my god, I can only think in two dimensions! One, one, two, three, four! One, two, one. Where's the, where's the third dimension? Wait, wait, no. One, two, oh. One, I have to think of parallels. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, of course. Okay, okay. I can't solve a two by two Rubik's Cube. This is too hard. I know what the puzzle is, and I know what all the actions in theory do. I just can't wrap my head around it. So, thanks for watching. Good night. The next day. I've come to realize that what I need to do is be really methodical with my organization, especially since I'm not a spatial reasoning person. To do that, I decided we needed to like map out the cube, so to say, but not just map out the cube, but also write down like every single minion name here. A few minutes later. Okay, hold on. Let me Google how to solve a two by two Rubik's cube. Only three steps. What? The first step is to solve this white side along with this first layer. I'm going to pick a white piece let's say this one, and this will be my top layer at all times. So just look at this MGC logo, and this will be my top layer. So I'll always rotate okay. it like this. So now the this key is, is to white, solve both a side and, and so one of the adjacent layers at the same time. Blue. Got it. But I also don't actually have the Rubik's Cube assembled correctly since I have things warping. One hour later. Wait, how is that possible? They're going the opposite way that I expect. Wait, 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 what? No. Yes, no. Oh. Oh. Two hours later. Whenever I play one, everything else also spins. Oh God, of the one. Oh my God. Oh, it's horrible. Three hours later. Oh, I'm so confused. I don't know how to do Rubik's Cubes. I'm crying. I think. I've solved the puzzle, I just don't know how to do a Rubik's Cube, so I'm now uh, getting Rubik's Cube instructions. There is an online 2D cube simulator. I think that can help with visualizing it. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Okay, so we'll simulate this. Our situation is we have the top of the Rubik's Cube solved. 
But disaster because that thing. <laughs> oh god. Ah! Oh god! What a horrible implementation! This is even worse than the Hearthstone implementation! Oh my god! Oh no! Okay, we're screwed. Maybe I should just use this. Calculate the solution of your scrambled 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube with this online solver. Wait, this is exactly what was happening. So my main puzzle was how do I get the green thing over here? Solve. Oh my god, there's 10 steps! But in Hearthstone, you'd have to do like a lot more steps. F U. Oh. Okay, this is promising. Show me the money. Oh, apparently like, well, I have no idea how. I took a wrong step somewhere. Here we go, the grand solve. After two threes, the middle should be green yellow. I mean, that's always gonna be red, of course. And then F, one, one, yes. So that, no, I need one, 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 of course. Then this should be a beast. Yeah, beast, okay, yeah. And then one, three, which would make this the yellow green, and then two more flips, and then three more of that, And then two of this, and then one of that. And then two of these, and then three of these. And then... give myself a uh, B on this one. Uh, it depends on whether or not you think using a Rubik's Cube solver docks you points. I don't think it does necessarily.